Hello guys, welcome again to Aphonix or Aphrobotics. Today we are going to look at a cool project. It's pretty neat and simple. So let me explain to you how it works. We are going to use DH, DHT11 or you can use DHT22 in order for us to send, sense the temperature and humidity at the same time. Then we have our lamp here meaning when the humidity is high then this lamp will be triggered it will be on for us because maybe we cannot see clearly or you want some um, light ray on your solar panel you can use this um, method and also we have our relay here meaning when the temperature is low when we have low temperature or chill weather or a very freezing weather then this really not come on because we don't need fan at that time but when the temperature is high high temperature it cause it will, will make the fan to come on so that we can enjoy the weather right and we will be using this lcd to display and monitor what is happening so whatever action that will be taken in the arduino here will then be displayed in the lcd display so that's what we are going to do today just stay with us and if you are okay with the introduction just give it a thumbs up so that others will get this video so that others will also get access to it the matrix will take it high and also if you are new to this channel just smash that red button so that you stay with our phonics when a new video is up you will get it all right so for this project we need this component we have um, the sign which is uh, an AC voltage source we have potentiometer we have motor we have LCD display we have lamp we have um, Arduino we have DHT22 or DHT11 and then we have BC547 so let us hook up the circuit I'm going to fast forward this a little bit
now we are done with hooking up the circuit it's time for us to look at the code all right so here is the code first we've declared our pin that is for the lcd display so this is going to require you to put some libraries like this dht libraries you have to include dht 11 and if you run this code and it didn't include these libraries into your arduino ide you're gonna face some troubles that's why i have included videos about two videos in the des description below just check it out it will show you step by step on how to include the dht library just check in the description below and get access to it include it before you run this code so let us check step by step we have pin mode 8 we have pin 8 and pin 9 that we use now if you go with these things has been declared already and the lcd has been activated now here is the decision making this is the humidity okay that is h if the humidity is above 79 then pin 8 is going to be highlighted that means 5 voltage would be sent to pin 8 and then pin 8 will allow the lamp to come on that means when there is a high humidity then the lamp will come on so that at least maybe for you to see clearly or if you are running this in a solar part so that this thing will continuously work for solar panel okay that is for the humidity and when it is below that else that means else that means if it doesn't meet that criteria anything that happens then this need to be low meaning there will be no triggering of 5 voltage to pin 8 all right if you go to the temperature now let us take the normal temperature which is 25 no 25 degrees celsius meaning if temperature is greater than 25 degrees celsius then p9 will be highlighted which will cause the fan to come on right and then else that means if nothing like that happened then it has to leave pin 9 alone meaning no triggering of 5 voltage to pin 9 it will just leave it alone and the fan will be off that could be a chill weather or a very cold weather you don't need to put on the fan right okay so it's done if you expand this little area here then you go a little bit further you will see this call from c to hex okay dot hex highlights this particular area good then copy this particular um drive or it is directory then you go to your purchase 8 here is our purchase 8 and here is our circuit click on this and then where it says program file click inside copy paste what you copied now you come you say okay now let us run this circuit and see what it has for us just wait for some time good it's now giving us humidity is about 80 and the temperature is about 27 you see as we can see the humidity is on meaning the lamp will be on and our this is at 27 meaning we put the threshold as 25 that is the temperature so if the temperature is high it means that the fan will be rotating that is how we want our uh, project to look at now let us see we reduce the temperature okay let us take the humidity down 20 let us take it as 77 and what the lcd says give it some time so humidity is less then it's off as we can see the lamp is off all right good now let us check again for the temperature click this to switch to degree celsius and let us bring the temperature down 
to 24 and see what it has for us what will the lcd say the humidity is less which means it's off and the temperature is less and it is also off then let us check our motor is not rotating okay so and our relay is not activated so this is how we want our project to look like which is pretty simple neat and clean if you are not happy with the delay time just go to the code and see the delay reduce the delay to certain amount because i put like 500 you can reduce it to 100 or even 50 so that it can work faster for you so far so good so this is how i'm going to end this video for now and if you face any issues just check put it in the comment below and like this video so that the the algorithm will send it far so that those who are interested in electronics can also learn from this okay so far thank you for watching this video